Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got the Bryant Bulldogs hosting the 1-6 Wofford Terriers. They're not having a great season so far. They've lost four straight, but they do have some pretty good players. Titus Taylor, 78 tackles, 6 sacks, 2 picks, 3 forced fumbles, and 8 pass deflections this year. Not bad for an outside linebacker. Got Brad Durant, 78 overall cornerback. No interceptions on the season for him. And only one pass deflection, so he's not doing too well in pass coverage right now. Dennis Allen, 446 rushing yards, three touchdowns. He also has 290 yards receiving with two scores. And he is their return man. Over 400 yards on returns. So we're going to be seeing a lot of Allen today. Travis Stewart, four touchdowns, three picks on the year, over 1,300 yards. Decent season, not the greatest for stats, but he's doing pretty well for himself. And on, you know, holding on to the football and not turning it over too much. Uh, the Terriers, they lost their first two games and they beat UMass by 17. And they have not won a game since. So they need to win here against Bryant if they want a shot at a bowl game. Uh, I do have Bryant winning this one very easily. They are 17th ranked in the country. I got them winning this one 56-21 to over Wofford. I think Brandon Allen is just too much of a beast for the Terriers to contain. I think Montanez might have a decent game, but let's see what the guys think about it. I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Curbstreet. We've got some cold weather, so get your blood pumping for tonight's game between the Wofford Terriers and the Bulldogs. This college football season continues to roll on, and we've got what looks like a spectacular battle headed your way. And here come the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs are pretty confident coming into this one, Kirk. It really doesn't appear to be much of a contest. The home team is led by their running back. Now, Hex to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. I agree with you on this one. I really believe that he's got going to do it. All right, we've heard Lee Corso's pick. Now let's take it down to the field for the action after the game. Here's the coin talk. So in a battle of the dogs, the Bulldogs are the favorite from everybody, and the Terriers are going to start off with a third and eight here. Stewart, play action, pressure, hit as he throws, but connects with Allen, who's in the open field, past the 40, the 30. Look at the speed. Tady and Moss finally tracks him down at the 10-yard line. Dennis Allen with a huge reception to start things off. Great start for the Terriers. They're already inside the 10-yard line first and goal. But they do get a penalty here. And later on in the drive, it's third and goal from the 19. Ruben Blueberry gets in there with the sack. Now, Ruben has been a beast this year. That is his seventh sack on the season. That play took way too long to develop. Fourth and goal from the 23. Wofford going to go for it. Stewart is sacked again. Ruben Blueberry comes through, gets his eighth on the season, second of the game already here in the first quarter on the first drive. Montanez going to throw it, first play on offense for the Bulldogs, hits Snoopy Tucker, and Snoopy Tucker is gone. He finally has his first career receiving touchdown. It took him seven games. That was a 75-yard touchdown pass on a nice corner route from the slot receiver. Terriers back on offense. Allen, nice hurdle in the open field. Past the 40, past midfield. Nobody was going to catch him. Dennis Allen is gone. He's got blazing speed, and he showed it all on that play. Great athleticism, too, here with the hurdle. And nice blocking downfield. Third and 14 for the Bulldogs. Montanez going to have to throw it over the middle, and Tucker can't hang on to it. Nice hit by the safety to jar that ball away from the receiver. So the Terriers with a chance here to take the lead, but they do fumble the football. It's recovered by the offense. Cy Summers with a nice tackle. It's fourth of the game already. Stephon Okafor on the forced fumble. That's the second on the season. Stewart is sacked again. That's Owens on the sack. There's a holding call. That'll be declined, and the sack will count. That'll make it fourth and 15. LJ Telford back deep to return the punt. And he'll have it from the 20-yard line. And he's going to fumble the football. It's recovered by Wofford. Titus Taylor on the recovery. The outside linebacker that we highlighted uh, before the game here is Brown, the backup running back, just weaving in and out of traffic, getting an easy touchdown run. Doesn't get touched until the end zone. 
Cy Summers trying to ruin the celebration right there. Wofford on top, 14 to seven over the 17th ranked Bryant Bulldogs out of the ACC. Brandon Allen with a nice nine yard carry. Makes a third and one. Allen, loose through the middle of the field. Gets caught up on Snoopy Tucker, taken down at the 44. First and 10, Montanez gonna throw it. Pressured, hit as he throws, connects with Brandon Allen. He's got it, cuts back to the inside, jukes to the outside in the open field, past the 40. And pushed out of bounds at the 31 yard line. Fantastic agility for the Heisman watch list member. Here is Brandon Allen breaking a couple tackles up to the 12 yard line, showing a lot of strength on that run. First and 10 from the 12, Brandon Allen, toss play. And he's gonna high step into the end zone. Huge hit at the end of the play. But a touchdown for the Bulldogs. That's gonna tie this thing up at 14 apiece. Kind of a shocker here. 14-14, not what I expected. Third down though for the Terriers. Stewart bounces back to the inside, picks up the first down. Great awareness by the quarterback. They're gonna go with the same play. Stewart pitches it out to Allen. And he gets crushed and fumbles the football, but is recovered by the Terriers offensive line. Von Okafor, he absolutely destroyed the quarterback on that play. So both the pitch man and the receiver of the pitch got absolutely lit up. Stewart hit as he throws again. That's Devine Adams putting the pressure on him. And Wofford going to punt the football away. LJ Telfer, see if he's going to fumble this one. He's going to return left side, pass the 40, and taken out of bounds inside ter uh, Terrier territory. That's a tongue twister. Montanez, left side, Tilfer has it inside the 25 yard line, nice jump ball. And nine out of 10 times, Tilfer's gonna come down with that one. Montanez finds McCoy wide open, he's inside the 10 yard line, just coming across the middle of the field. Not a defender in sight, first and goal from the nine. Montanez, pressured, hit, he is sacked way back at the 19 yard line. That'll make it third and goal. They actually said it was from the 20 and it's a nice completion to Tucker to the five, well short of the first down though. And the Bulldogs will have to settle for a field goal. The kick is up and it is good. And a close game here in Rhode Island. It's 17 to 14, Bryant on top. Terriers with a chance to take the lead. Stewart is almost picked off by Cy Summers. He misjudged the ball though. Summers has yet to have, no he only has one interception on the season. Blueberry blowing up another place, got six tackles, two sacks today. A couple tackles for a loss as well. Stewart hit as he throws, that pass is picked off. It looks like he just threw it right to Tatum. And Tatum taken down at the 40 yard line. Now Bryant with a chance to extend their lead. First and 10, Antonez. All day he's gonna take off left side. Hasn't really run the ball a whole lot this season. He takes off though, past the 40. What a juke move inside the 30. And out of bounds at the 23 yard line. Great play by the quarterback. Allen on the toss, runs right past his blockers, is too fast, gets it inside the 10. And they're gonna go with Allen again. He breaks it out right side. Allen finds the end zone for the score. That's gonna give Bryant a 10 point lead with less than a minute to go here in the first half. So Wofford definitely getting some respect here though. They are putting on a show on offense. Here's a nice pitch, and that is fumbled by Botts, who's actually a receiver. And there's a five yard face mask on Devine Adams. That'll make it first and 10 from the 42 yard line. Stewart sacked again. And that was Devine Adams on the sack, his first of the game, and his seventh on the season. So 15 combined sacks for Adams and Blueberry on the year. Stewart right side picked off again by Smith this time at the 45 yard line. So Bryant have a little bit of time left. What are they gonna do with it? They're gonna go option. Brandon Allen in the open field. Past the 40 and nobody's gonna catch him. He's gonna high step for 25 yards and a score. Brandon Allen with a 55 yard touchdown run. That's gonna end the first half. Bryant on top, 31-14. And I do apologize for the static in the background. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but for some reason, my Elgato sound capture was on at the same time as this recording. So that is the extra sound that you hear in the background. Montanez gonna throw it, play action over the middle. LJ Tilfer comes down with another jump ball at the 46 yard line. He's got over 600 yards receiving on the year now. Montanez, pressured, rolling out way out right side. This play is taken forever. And he finally finds LJ Tilfer down at the 35 yard line. Great play by Montanez using his feet to finally find somebody open. 
And Snoopy Tucker is wide open at the five yard line, out of bounds. It should have been another touchdown. Good and go from the one. Brandon Allen, that's too easy. His blocker didn't even hit anybody that was in front of him. That's going to make it 38-14. Dennis Allen back deep to return the kickoff from Brashers. And he's got it at the two yard line. Going to go left side, has a couple nice blocks. In the open field, he's got blockers in front of him. Just the kicker to beat. What a stiff arm. And Brashers can't get him. That's a touchdown for the Watford Terriers. Great return. That's going to give Allen almost 300 total yards for this game. Stewart right side. They go for two. Allen can't stay in bounds. So it's going to be 38-20. to And LJ Telfer is back to return the kickoff from his own two-yard line. And he's going to follow his blockers on the left side. And he's going to stiff arm a defender to the ground. Oh, my goodness. Great block by Brandon Allen. It's going to spring LJ Tilfer free. He's not the fastest player in the world, but he gets the job done. LJ Tilfer with his um, first career kick return for touchdown and his third career return for touchdown total. Wofford going option. That ball is going to hit Cy Summers in the back, and that's recovered by Stephon Okafor. That is his first career fumble recovery. And the Bulldogs take back over on offense. Montanez lofts one up. A.J. Jordan is wide open inside the 20. The 10, he's caught from behind at the one-yard line. But there is a flag for a holding from Miller. That's going to drop him back at their own 39-yard line. Second and 16. Montanez, quarterback draw. And he's going to pick up about 14 yards. That will give him 133 for the year. Montanez. Going to throw again. All day to throw it. Rolls out left. It's A.J. Jordan who cuts back to the inside. A.J. Jordan's going to have a touchdown this time. No penalties on the field. A.J. Jordan, that is his first career touchdown reception. And that was a sweet one. Wofford back on offense. They're going to keep it on the ground. Dennis Allen up the gut. Picks up the first down. I have been really impressed with him. He's got a buck 20 on the ground today. But 39. Stewart is sacked again. And that is going to be the backup defensive tackle on the sack. A.J. Jordan gets a carry this time. Runs over a defender, but he's going to fumble the football here. And that's recovered by Duran, the cornerback that was highlighted in the beginning of this game. That's his first career uh, fumble recovery. His first stat other than one pass deflection and a bunch of tackles. Stewart picks up a first down. Ruben Blueberry on the tackle. They go option. Summers with a huge tackle on Stewart for a loss. That'll make it third and 12. They're going to have to throw it over the middle. And Cy Summers, if he was just two inches taller, would have had a pick right there. But he does have a nice big hit right here. Love watching him destroy the opposing team. Davis up the middle, completely wrecked again. Cy Summers, his first career forced fumble, believe it or not. Another massive hit. My goodness. I don't know how he doesn't have more forced fumbles on the season. Fourth and goal from the four-yard line. Stewart taken down in the end zone. There's a face mask. And that penalty is going to be accepted. So 52-27. Bulldogs just looking to run the clock out. Here's A.J. Jordan staying in bounds, running through defenders. Still up down at the 25-yard line. And they're going to keep feeding the beast. A.J. Jordan left side breaks it loose to the outside. And he is gone for the score. That is A.J. Jordan's 12th rushing touchdown on the season. His second touchdown of the game. He had a receiving touchdown earlier. His first of his career. Players of the game, Dennis Allen and Brandon Allen, of course. And Dennis Allen continues to show out. Breaks loose to the left side. And down at the 30-yard line, Tadian Moss finally tracked him down. Seems like every Tadian Moss tackle has been a touchdown-saving tackle. Here's another fumble and another big hit for Cy Summers. Makes it third and ten. And Stewart's going to have to throw it. He's hit as he throws. Connects with Botts, the uh, second wide receiver on the depth chart. And he is going to taunt a little bit here. He is very pumped up as his team is down by 32 points. And this is the first time we've seen Botts all game. Look at this. One catch, ten yards. <laughs> what an elite talent he is. So another victory here for Scott Goldberg and the Bryant Bulldogs. They have been dominating everybody this season, except for William & Mary, the game that ended in an overtime win. On a Cy Summers hit, if you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. That was a great game. But all the other Bryant Bulldog games have been big-time wins over mostly conference opponents. 
But 6-0 on the season. The Bryant Bulldogs came into the game. They are now 7-0. Wofford falls to 1-7 on the season. They had 319 yards of offense. Bryant 502, 280 through the air. Over 200 rushing. Five total turnovers in the game. Six fumbles for Wofford today. That'll happen when you run the options. And 59 to 27 is the final. This game was over at the half, technically. Snoopy Tucker gets his first uh, career touchdown reception. So does AJ Jordan. And those are both the only touchdown passes of the game for Noah Montanez. Brandon Allen, four touchdown runs today. And just ridiculous numbers. That's gonna be that's gonna give him 20 rushing touchdowns on the season. He also has one touchdown reception. And no fumble today either. So just crazy numbers. Snoopy Tucker, best game of his career receiving. 124 yards, one touchdown, first career touchdown reception. AJ Jordan, one catch, 51 yards and a touchdown. Tucker, two drops. Brandon Allen with one drop. Kenneth Harrington, eight pancakes today. That'll give him 52 pancakes on the season with only one sack allowed. Cy Summers, nine tackles. That's going to give him 50 for the year. Ruben Blueberry, seven tackles, four for a loss. That gives Ruben 28 tackles, 12 for a loss, and eight sacks. Just a fantastic display by the defense today. Tidian Moss, five tackles. That'll give him 26 on the year. And he had two for a loss, which is the first two for a loss in his career. Five sacks today for the defensive line, mostly. A couple interceptions, a couple forced fumbles. Four forced fumbles, actually. Cy Summers had one, Stephon Okafor, and Divine Adams as his first career fumble forced, which I forgot to put the graphic up. But I'm telling you now, LJ Telfer, first career kick return for touchdown. He came into the game with two punt returns for touchdowns. Players of the game, Brandon Allen, Noel Montanez, A.J. Jordan, Dennis Allen, Titus Taylor, and Brown, the backup halfback for Wofford, the players of the game. Our next Bryant Bulldog matchup, they will be traveling to take on the Hampton Pirates. That's a Week 10 matchup. Another ACC showdown. That'll be a fun one next week or the week after that. Whatever. UC Davis will travel to take on the Idaho State Bengals tomorrow. I'll see you guys with that one. Take it easy.